Yo right, guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Paint and Projects and once again, this channel is sponsored by PrimalWarGames.com. It's a bricks and mortar store. The website will be up above in the card, hopefully, and down below in the description. Now, what's that time of the month? That's right, it's asset drop time. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox this asset drop um, discovery box. Now, um, what month are we on now? We're in, we're in January, so this will be December's box because they like to do things like that. They, they, they send the previous months and you get it the, the beginning of the following month. So guys, if you want to check them out, they are assetdrop.com. Um, I've, I've always liked these and I've been with them now for, I think it's about 10 months I've been subscribed with them now and I'm happy with the product. No real complaints from me anyway. Like I've, I've been introduced to so many new paints, which I probably would have known about, but not necessarily bought. So yeah, let's get on with this video. Let's turn the camera around. See you in a minute. Right guys. In this video, we are going to have a little look at the Asset Drop box from December. Now, as you can see, I've already opened it up because I got a little bit too excited and I wanted to see what was in the box. Now, here's the guide, which is the Discovery Painting Guide, December 2018, box number 15. So that means it's been running for 15, we 15 weeks now, 15 months, Andy. So we will have a little look at this later on because we don't want to spoil it. Here's a little advert for Hataka paint. So I'm guessing we're gonna get some Hataka paints in here. And this is the color chart here, which is uh, you know fairly useful. I suppose you can match it up with your GW paint and see what what um, comparisons you can be made there. How to thin them down and stuff like that. That's very interesting. I'll keep that to one side. Thank you very much. So um, let's rip this open. Be a bit bit um aggressive and, and rip that open. Oh, what is this? Some Ammo MIG paintbrushes are these. Oh, that's very nice. So these brushes, the synthetic saw brush, which I'm guessing this one is here, that's two pound and two pence, which I think is a very good price to be honest. I can't wait to try them out. I'm, I'm, in, I'm always in desperate need of brushes. I think we all are. So two pound a brush, that's very good. And the Ammo MIG brush liner brush this is called this is um one pound and 12 pence that looks like it's got a massive long tip there look at that probably coming up to there so it's very big well very long the tip should i say we've got a little drumstick lollipop here which can go into my collection of sweets on the side here and what else have we got oh yes dark star paints these are very good and metallic paints guys i've used them before because of acid drop i've used these before and they are fantastic so what we've got victorian gold and silver verdi mm, interesting so obviously that's going to be the highlight and that's going to be the base color and how much do these normally retail at let me have a look for the book doing a bit of a cheat this week guys they are three pound fifty each for metallic paint and you get how many mil in these does it say um 17 mil, 17 mil guys for three pound fifty. That's very, very good, good value for money, isn't it? We can't wait to use them. We've got some attacker paints here, some lovely looking paints, and these are three pound. No, they're not. They're two pound thirty each. Sorry, guys, for the mistakes. We've got Sea Bloom, Giris Berclera. If you can read that, guys, I'm not French. Sorry. And we've got a dark blue here. I'm wondering what they're going to use that for. Maybe a cape, maybe? Not too sure. So yeah, they're £2.30 each. And then what else have we got? Oh, what's this? Terrain wash. Handcraft. Tabletop. I'm not hearing them. I can hear a agitator in there, which always comes in handy. These are made in Germany. That's cool. It's acrylic wash. See, I can't read German, guys. Acrylic oof wash bellas. So handcrafttabletop.com. It's very interesting. How much does this retail at then? These retail at £3.50. So £3.50 for wash, and this looks like a big, massive wash. 
doesn't say the amount that's in here, does it? Oh, it does. 30 mil. 30 mil for a green wash, guys. Can't wait to try that. That'll be interesting. And we've got another one here, which is a Drunkel Skraten. It's again, it's by the same company, Terrain Wash. Oh, how, how ironic, guys. How ironic is that? Right, so for any of you who are on my social media, I got Kill Team for Christmas and I've been spending pretty much most of my spare time assembling the, um, the the terrain within that. It took me 10 hours to assemble that Kill Team terrain and I've used a whole pot of Agrix Airshade on, the wa on washing that. If only this would have came out a couple of weeks earlier and I could have used both of these washers. That would have been cool. So this one again is £3.50. And I'll just give you my life story then. So let's just move this box to one side. And have a little look at the magazine. The magazine? Yeah, it's a magazine, pretty much. Got information in it, as a. So, yeah, as we know, the handcraft table top washers are £3.50 each. It gives a bit of information here. The Mix Jamas. I think they're they from Germany? Spain, I got that wrong again. I, th I said that in the last video, didn't I? I, th I actually thought they were Japanese, but anyway. Because that's because all the uh, Gundam people use them, don't you? So, and the Hitaka blue line, the red, blue line, red line, and... Uh, oh, that must be the, the um, maybe the, 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 the make, or the, the series, maybe, Hitaka red line. Dark blue, dark sea, and... Okay, so that's that. And then um, telling you to use it on the shipwreck here, which is quite interesting. So we've got a green and we've got like a darker colour and then we've got some dungeon tiles here. So also, if you're friends with me on Facebook or on my groups, you'll know that I've started doing D&D &D as well, which is pretty cool. And then the Dark Star Metallics, which I suppose I could use, you could use that on anything, couldn't you really? Do you want a brassy finish, Tim? Ah, yes. We're going to use this on like some sort of cloak, which is cool. Interesting, interesting. Um, so that's it, guys. Pretty much great value for money, in my opinion. Introducing me to another another brand and giving me more paints to, to, to use. So And some more paintbrushes. So, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you soon. Nice one, guys. Tra.